。はい。このうさぎ、ラビットの物語。英語の方を今日は一緒に音読したいと思います。小さなお子さんと小学生、それから中学1年生までの方は、ただ聞いてるだけでいいです。眠っても構いません。途中で飽きたらもう見ないで構,構いません。で日本語の方はこの前やったのでさーっと飛ばして英語からいきましょうねじゃあ一緒に読んでいきたいと思いますここからです The White Rabbit から One, two, three The White Rabbit and the Golden Meadow Once upon a time In a lush green forest Where the sun gleamed through the leaves There was a curious little White rabbit with bright eyes and soft fur. He loved to explore the woods and find new things to see and smell. He was always looking for adventure and excitement. One day, as he was hopping along a path, he noticed a faint glow in the distance. He followed the light and soon came across a clearing. That was filled with golden flowers that shimmered in the sunlight. The rabbit was amazed by the sight and felt a strange warmth in his heart. He entered the meadow and felt a wave of happiness wash over him. He felt like he had found a magical place where he could be free and happy. He decided to make the meadow his home and spent his days playing among the flowers, nibbling on the sweet grass, and basking in the sun. He felt like he had everything he ever wanted and needed. He was content and peaceful. But one day, he heard a loud noise that startled him. He looked up and saw a group of men with axes and swords coming towards the meadow. They were cutting down the trees and clearing the land. The rabbit was terrified and ran to hide behind a bush. He watched as the men approached the meadow and began to trample. The flowers and dig up the soil. He heard them say that they were going to build a factory on the land and make a lot of money. The rabbit felt a surge of anger and sadness. He couldn't believe that the men were destroying his home and the beautiful meadow. He wanted to stop them, but he knew he was too small and weak to fight them. He felt helpless and hopeless. He decided to run away and find a new place to live. He, fe- he left the meadow and ran through the forest, looking for a safe and quiet spot. But everywhere he went, he saw more signs of destruction and pollution. He saw trees being cut down, rivers being polluted, animals being hunted, and people being cruel. He felt like he had lost his way and his purpose. He wandered for a long time, feeling lonely and miserable. He wished he could go back to the meadow and the happy days he had spent there. He, won- he wondered if there was any place left in the world where he could be happy and free. He was about to give up hope when he saw a familiar glow in the distance. He followed the light and soon came across a small patch of land that was surrounded by a fence. Inside the fence, he saw a garden that was filled with golden flowers that shimmered in the sunlight. He recognized the flowers as the same ones. That had grown in the meadow. He felt a spark of joy and curiosity. He approached the fence and saw a sign that said, Welcome to the Golden Meadow Sanctuary, a place for endangered plants and animals to thrive and be protected. 
Please do not disturb or harm the wildlife. Enjoy the beauty and peace of nature. He also saw a small house that belonged to a kind old lady who was the caretaker of the sanctuary. She had rescued seeds of the golden flowers from the meadow before it was destroyed and planted them in her garden. She had also taken in many animals that had lost their homes and habitats due to human activities. She cared for them and gave them a safe and loving environment. The rabbit felt a surge of gratitude and hope. He realized that he had found a new home and a new friend. He decided to enter the sanctuary and join the other animals. He hopped over the fence and ran towards the garden. He felt a wave of happiness wash over him. He felt like he had found a magical place where he could be free and happy again. He spent his days playing among the flowers, nibbling on the sweet glass, grass, and basking in the sun. He made friends with the other animals and learned to trust and love the old lady. He felt like he had everything he ever wanted and needed. He was content and peaceful. He never forgot the meadow and the happy days he had spent there. He also never forgot the men and the sad days he had endured. He learned to appreciate, appreciate and cherish the beauty and fragility of nature. He learned to respect and protect the life and diversity of the earth. He learned to live and let live. This was the white rabbit, and this was his story.